hot. All right, I just touched down in Manila, Philippines, and this is my room, and this is craziness. Look at this uh, this view outside here. Really, really pretty out. And look at the uh, sun is rising. This was a crazy flight, man. It took me hours and hours and hours. So yeah, like 29 hours of flight or something like that. 13 hours straight from uh, Vancouver, BC. Any which way I'm here and UnboxCon's happening Saturday. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I think I'm at a casino in Manila and I might gamble a little bit this morning, eat some food just wander around the city and then I'm gonna meet up with Carlo for dinner and we'll see uh, what the, what ends up happening. I have no idea. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the day. All right, today is the day, Unbox Con. I'm gonna be head out and uh, it's gonna be kind of a crazy day, but. Nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah, nice to meet you. This is you guys' stuff here? Yeah, we're a Philippine tech wear brand. Yeah. It's crazy. Do you want to spin around so I can see the back of the hoodie? That thing's crazy. Oh, it's okay. Wait, so does it say friend on the other side? <laughs> reversible. Do a reversible with friend and enemy. Fire. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That would be kind of dope. Okay. I'll give you royalties. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I just would love to see it. It's really cool. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? What's uh, XL? XL uh, US? Yeah. I think it's like 3XL for, um, yeah, those, uh, so wait, so you, you yeah. designed this, right? Yeah. No, no, just you. Oh, yeah. I'm just joking. No, you guys did great, man. It looks great. You should give him a shirt. Don't make him buy it. <laughs> no, that's what I'm buying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those are fire.
And I have an autograph. What? Ooh. Yeah, I have an auto. See? Yes. I have a numbered card too. Okay, no way. That's the pack of death. Oh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch yours. Go yeah. for it. Giannis. North. Oh, I see his on card. It's Bill Walton. Oh, that's actually dope. <laughs> yeah. I love that. It's, it's like an a... on card. Oh, yeah, from your team. Yeah. The Blazers. Bill Walton, that's dope. <laughs> it's on card too. Yeah. It's... Oh, damn! Oh, you're right. Yeah. On card oh. of Shaquille. Yeah, is this three hundred dollars? Is this the one you got? Yeah, that's three hundred dollars right oh, there. Molly. That pays for your box. <laughs> All right, so Unbox Con was crazy, man. Super fun. Philippines has been amazing. Manila is awesome. The people here are just super friendly. It's crazy because the sneaker event there was not like a lot of like arrogant feelings. Sometimes you get from like like a complex con or something like that. Maybe even a sneaker con. Uh, it just felt like a lot of love and like people were just super friendly and cordial. There's no fighting or anything like that uh, for lines or the booths or anything. So it, it was a lot of fun. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I picked up while here in Manila. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first one, that's one of the coolest ones that I got. Thank you to, to Carlo and his team, um, Box Face. They gave me one of these vinyls and this is a Box Face uh, uh, Unbox Con exclusive. There was only 10 of them um, made. So there's the back right there. And uh, man, it's just such a great little piece. And for anybody that's like seen Cuphead, like my kid and I play Cuphead and stuff, it's a video game, super fun. Like the box head looks very inspired by that, which I really, really like. Just a really cool uh, design and everything about it. So the, the branding for Unbox Con was amazing. Honestly, if they brought this like event to the US, like it would be it would be pretty awesome. I'd be like for sure on board with that. Cause it's such a, it's such a great concept, uh, like sneakers, toys, cards, there's just all sorts of collectible things in there. But got a DBTK t-shirt here. Uh, this one was really cool as well. You can see here is the print. There was a couple other ones that I wanted, but they ran out of sizes, unfortunately, when I went back and uh, tried to bug them. I didn't want to get in line. I mean, they were really, really busy. Their line was really, probably the biggest one for merch uh, out of the entire event for uh, apparel. Beyond the hype, nice little sticker that they gave. And then uh, it's so good right here. So they give a t-shirt here. I don't want to take them out of the packaging, unfortunately, just because I don't want uh, to have to repack it because I have to pack up my bags basically to head home. Um, and uh, so I don't want to take them all out of the bags and then have to re-fold uh, them up. But this is another t-shirt right here. It says no dubs, no problems and stuff. I like that. That's cool. Thank you. It's so good for the t-shirts. Very cool. Sneak Attack. So this company was dope. Their logo is really dope, first of all. 
and they're like tech wear, street wear stuff is just fire. They also gave me this and I don't honestly know what's inside. So it's a lanyard and, and I think this is a scannable item right here. I don't know what it's for yet. I'll find out. And it also came with a patch, so very cool. This was definitely one of the ones I, I like actively pursued it. I was like, hey dude, I need one of those t-shirts. Like, so this is uh, one of the merch items from uh, the, uh, the Unbox Con, so very, very cool. Day before we went to Unbox Con, we did head over to Shoe Game and this is uh, from Manila. Got a pickup for my kid. And then and then they also threw in some slides. So very thankful, thank you for those slides. I picked up a pair of these because I was looking around. I should have looked harder to pick up some for myself. Um, and I was gonna go back and I just didn't get time, unfortunately. But I picked up a pair of these for my kid. If you guys might have seen, I, I picked up a pair of these on my channel. Uh, again for myself um and then my kid was so mad because i didn't get him a size i ended up buying him a size and he already's like outgrowing it so i wanted to get him another one and this one was in much better shape shout out to the unbox team again and carlo they hooked me up with a jolly bee in the uh philippine barong it's how you say it anyway i have uh, i've never been to jolly bees before so i actually went to jolly bees the first time with carlo and his uh, some of his his team it was really awesome and fun i mean good place obviously but uh, then they ended up throwing in a Funko. I thought that was rad. I found a Peppa Pig Funko for Maddie. She loves Peppa Pig, so she's gonna be super geeked about that. And then I found a SpongeBob for Harrison. So this one is the Weightlifter SpongeBob from Hot Topic Exclusive. He doesn't really care about the exclusivity of these things. He'll open this up and immediately start playing with it. So uh, Harrison loves his, his little Funkos and stuff. So also got uh, some something really light for the wife. She honestly just wanted uh, a something for like um, a wallet for a small purse. So I got her a little coach uh, clutch thing here. This is a clutch, I don't even know what it's called, but just a little small one from coach. Honestly, I look at LV and I was like, man, for six, $700 US conversion, I was like, it's not really worth it, it's like 200. And, um, and it's just simpler. And honestly, it's more expendable, like as in, if, if I decide to get her like a, a better wallet, like I wanna, I kinda wanna get her one of the Chanel um, clutches. And then I was like, well, she probably won't want an LV wallet with a Chanel clutch. So I figured if this is the one for now and then eventually she won't like it, then it's all good. And then she didn't have to have it. She can have something else. Uh, anyway, that's what we got there. Anyways, I got a couple pickups here from Green Hills as well, which is like basically like a rep nation. They have so many replicas there. Uh, I'll do a different video of that experience of walking around, looking at all the replicas, because honestly, it's just worth creating another video just for that experience, because it was uh, pretty crazy to see uh, in person. Anyway, uh, I'll show you guys that in the other video, and so uh, check out my channel if you guys want to check out that video. I'll be posting it very soon, but pretty uh, pretty fun haul, not anything super crazy. I didn't end up with any sneakers myself. After the fact, I was like, I should have got some Jordans, uh, especially the fours, like the, I don't even know what colorway, the tie-dye pink and purple one. I saw them at the sneaker event as it was closing. I was like, dang it, I forgot. Those ones didn't release in the US. So stupid me, I should have picked those ones up. But um, but anyway, that's the way uh, the cookie crumbles sometimes and that's what we got. Have a good uh, day. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the video, but really fun event. Thank you, Carlo, uh, for bringing me out here. And housekeeping's here. We'll see you guys later.